welcome to Still Buffering, a sister's guide to teens through the ages. I am Riley Smurl. And I'm Sydney McElroy. Riley. Yeah. We have a very special guest with us the today. The most special guest? The guest you've all been waiting for. You've all been hoping for. That's a lot of she pressure, guys. Let, just just add that. <laughs> pull it back. Come on. I love how you just how start talking. Go. So it's like now it's anticlimactic. It's Taylor. <laughs> it's Taylor. I'm like, oh, no, never mind. I'm done. <laughs> our it's, our it's other the sister, sister. The our third sister. sister. I'm the, the second. She's the third. Oh, okay, sorry. Yeah, I'm I'm technically the third. Okay. okay. Well, okay. the sister, the sister you haven't heard from so far yet. Taylor, Taylor! is here with us. What's up, internet? People? Welcome to welcome to our show, Tay. Happy to be here. So we are very happy to have Taylor with us. Yeah. Um, it's fun because then we all get to talk and look at each other mm-hmm. and we get yeah. to do a show together. So that's I like never a get to just look at you. It's just nice to just look at you. That's, that's a weird <laughs> that's thing. It's a little weird. Say. Maybe we should turn off the camera. Oh, no. Okay, never mind. No, never, I'm not going to be nice to you. <laughs> I, I really do. I am enjoying your new glasses, though. I am, too. They're very nice. Thank you. I'm very happy with them. You at home listening at home, you're not getting a load of these cool glasses. So yeah. you're missing out. Yeah. Uh Tay, we we like to ask people before we get into what we're gonna talk about today, we always like to ask people who join us on our show, uh, you know, to give our listeners kind of a reference point for how what kind you, of how did you teen? <laughs> yes. Is what she's trying to say. <laughs> I was just trying to explain what that meant. Like, you know, what kind of team were you? Yes. How did you teen, Tay? Uh, you know, I teened in my own way. Um, I guess if you want to put me in a like social circle, I was outside of all of them. Um, <laughs> her own. <laughs> I did my own thing. And by that, I, I, I Taylor I guess it teened was a- on an island somewhere <laughs> by herself. We actually haven't no seen teen her in an island in <laughs> twenty <laughs> years. Uh, I I was I suppose. You know, I was I was smart and I was into like a bunch of cool stuff. And if that makes me a nerd, I will accept that. I it's probably you were into the closest cool stuff. Yeah, cool stuff like anime and video games mm-hmm. Uh-huh. and mm-hmm. Japanese culture and mm-hmm. you're, this is cool stuff. All the right? coolest stuff. <laughs> I don't know about that. Hmm. You were very you were well-rounded though you played sports yeah you i sported. did i hey i was captain of the tennis team one of them so tennis there you go. yeah look at one that. Of- cool points tennis team yeah <laughs> so so you you sported you got good grades and then you, you are- arted you arted of course yeah but i guess it's like i wasn't cool enough to hang out with the art kids because they were all like cool and i wasn't <laughs> like had enough cardigans enough to hang out with the tennis people so that was that uh, <laughs> Careful now. Don't offend all of our tennis listeners. Oh, no, I'm sorry. Everyone that wears a cardigan, I'm sorry. I I wear cardigans. I wear cardigans. Okay? <laughs> I love cardigans. A good cardigan over a little tank top? Is that that's still a look, I mean, that's right? what I wear to school. Okay. I have done go, everything see? wrong. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's called the Mr. Rogers look. <laughs> I'm great at like, it. Like Mr. Rogers, great. It's, I'm sorry. You're I said I, I misspoke. Forgive me. <laughs> <laughs> so so you did a little bit of everything. I and did, of but course the, but, but if I had a tribe, it was defined by um by probably a desperate, intense love for Sailor Moon. I had like two friends, but we were in it together. That's not like a bad thing to be defined by, though. No. I was actually just reading an article um, from Vice the other day about how Sailor Moon fans are like the best people on Earth. They are, you know, I, I think I saw I saw like the short video of it. And like at one point, uh, one of the dudes is like, you know, Sailor Moon taught me to be the friend that I would be. I would want to be for the friends I will eventually have. <laughs> and I, am, I feel very much that way. For the people I friend to, I friend really well with moon power. <laughs> I, said that. I said that to the world. Friend with moon power. Go forth and friend with moon power. <laughs> well, Sailor Moon was definitely very, um, it was one of the, like, especially as a younger person watching a cartoon, um, 
it was so accepting. It had so many, you know, it broke so many barriers in terms of like American cartoons, what, what you, what kind of different people you'd see rep- represented, uh, that cause you know, kids were watching it too. And that it was really kind of, um, revolutionary in that way. It was, it was one of a kind, at least I think for us growing up, you wouldn't have seen a lot of different, like, you know, transgender characters and, and gay characters, you know, in a cartoon. It was super cool in that way. Well, and you know, I should, I should say, I, uh, I have a degree in cartooning, um, Ooh, but a big yes, reason. Taylor yeah. Does. So a that's basically a degree in, in, in nerddom. Um, I, I've often considered that I would like to go for higher education, but only for that moment that some dude's having like a heart attack on an airplane and they're like, was there a doctor somewhere? And I'm like, I'm a doctor of cartoons. It's the whole reason <laughs> <I didn't laughs> do that. But uh, uh I, I mean I guess that's hysterical except that the guy's having a heart attack. I was <laughs> hey, but it's going to be good when it's I will seriously. cartoon him a doctor. <laughs> um but a big reason that I pursued there, that's that a, there's was... a high price on that joke. <laughs> <laughs> no price too high for the joke. You know, except for <laughs> death. <laughs> Maybe. Uh, but a big reason that I pursued that degree was Sailor Moon. And it was, it was A, the first thing that I saw that was like, oh, wow, this is a female character who's like, she's not always like on point. She's not super strong. She's not super smart. She's kind of a mess sometimes. Like I related to that. And then like also, oh, it's drawn by a lady. Like a lady can draw this and they can, you know, like embrace all different kinds of girls. And like that was the thing. And I'm like, I want to do this. This is exactly what I want to do. So if that hadn't been my life, I don't think I'd be doing the things I'm doing now. Which I think it, that's a really good segue into what we're going to talk about mm-hmm. this episode. <laughs> that was if you did that intentionally. Good job. <laughs> um, which is, I think one way that all three of us, Riley's going to deny this adamantly. One thing that unites all three of us uh, cause we're, we're very different in many ways, but one way in which we're all the same is that we all are probably a little bit nerdy I don't think or I'll maybe a lot of that. it, a lot I, of it. I nerdy. think I'm, I think I'm pretty nerdy. Can be. Um, and I, I don't think that's a bad thing at all. I don't no. say nerd as, as a critical thing or I- any kind of self degrading term. I don't use it that mm. way. Like we were, I, I know when I was younger, we were into things that maybe weren't the traditionally cool, you know, quote unquote, cool right. things. Um, and I think that those kind of strange, unique aspects of our personalities have, I know for Taylor and I, I think have made us better adults. And I think Riley, as you get older, will make you I'm a better adult. I'm almost adult. You're Got almost like two adult? and a half more years. Am I an adult? I'm- Taylor's an adult. Taylor, you you're, you're Taylor? an adult. I'm sorry to tell you. I, I Is this where you're finding out? <laughs> I gotta process this. We brought you this. here today, Taylor. No, no, this <laughs> to break to you the news. This is an intervention. <laughs> this is an intervention. Taylor, you're an adult. Accept it. No. There's a banner hanging up here that says intervention. We're here for you. You're an adult. We're here for you. I, I really want a banner that says we're here for you. <laughs> What a, can you imagine ordering that at the at like the <laughs> poster store or whatever? Could you make me a big banner that says "We're here for you"? <laughs> what kind of party can is that? I have that? I can't over my bed just in general forever. I need to wake <laughs> up and see that every morning. I don't even know who we is, but I need to know that you're here for me. <laughs> everything's gonna be. Can I have this one that says "Everything's store. gonna be okay"? <laughs> Justin actually has a shirt that he loves to wear that says everything's okay. <laughs> you have melancholy banners are us. <laughs> <laughs> but I think I think we could be considered, I don't know, I, I hate to say experts, but maybe somewhat experts or at least really good amateurs in uh in how to nerd. I, I think would we're pretty say good so. at that. So um so I thought Riley we could share with you some of the ways that we used to nerd do it we had some things in common some things some things different um and then riley if i don't know if we'll get you to admit to any any nerdy things we'll wait and see i think one easy thing that w- that united all of us um is probably unfortunately is it still considered nerdy riley you can answer this to mm-hmm. to do well in school in general to just get really good grades i should say really good grades that sounds really braggy i, I, mean, I mean to perform well to yeah. do well in school i don't think it's considered nerdy anymore i think most people are probably like dang 
I wish I my, my grades were like that. I wish I wish my report card looked like that, and I wouldn't get in trouble and get grounded. I think so, that's probably. I don't think it's nerdy. I think it's probably just like I should do that, and they don't, but they should. And they say they should. What about not just like getting good grades, but one thing that I found uh, didn't exactly win me a lot of. I feel like I know what you're going to say. Fans, but not just doing well, but um, talking about it, like speaking up in class a lot, answering so like a lot of questions, being the first to raise your hand. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's that's not as cool. <laughs> Taylor, were you one of those who cuz I couldn't help myself. If if I knew the answer, I had to stick my hand up in the air. I had to say something. If I thought like we were having a conversation, a discussion about something and I thought I had a really like clever mm-hmm. input, I was always like, "Excuse me, I have a thought." <laughs> I couldn't help myself. I just couldn't. I mean, you know, I, I and mom used to say it too, like I was always sneaky smart, like I wasn't the most outspoken kid. I just got really good grades. But like how is how is knowing stuff not cool? Like that's the content of you. Like that's cool. Like you know about math and 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 history and uh stuff. Like that's cool stuff. That's that makes you like interesting and capable of having a conversation. Like being smart should be cool because I don't like having a conversation with a person that doesn't know about things is really hard. <laughs> <laughs> well, that, I mean, that's fair. I don't know if it was, maybe it was the time, like the, the implication is the time that you spend because, you know, let's say that you do things like science fair, social studies fair. Like we were talking about before we started, like I was a member of Mu Alpha Theta. I'm ma- now a member of Mu Alpha Theta. Okay. And Riley's mm. a member of Mu Alpha Theta, the math club. If you're if you're part of those kinds of things and people know it, then it implies that this is what I spend my time doing. And I guess if you were cooler, you would spend your time doing what do cool what? kids do, like skateboard. You know, <laughs> like I mean, <laughs> what are the what are the cool kids? Well, you were skateboarding the other day. I actually was. <laughs> they skateboard again, Taylor. That's back. They skateboard now. That's great. Skateboarding is cool. Like that. That's that's like a. But you know what? I don't know, because I've often thought, like, if I didn't have all these things that just, like, take up my time, like, reading comic books, watching cartoons, like, making things, like, all this stuff, like, if I could just take that off the table and just have my job and then have my free time, what would I do? And I'm pretty sure that what people do when they don't have time is just, like, watch Friends on Netflix. Like, I've had a couple roommates, and that's all they do. (laughs) Like, when they don't have anything else to do, you just, like, lay in bed and zone. And I don't, I'm pretty cool with the 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 weird stuff i'm doing because if that's the alternative how how did you know she just (laughs) wow tay just called you out how did you You gotta fill in that space and don't fill it in with the friends they're not your real friends (laughs) so good wait so maybe riley is cool because that's what she's doing i think that's what cool people do that's all i can discern i like feel like like you know like i'm studying like the wild safari of cool people from a distance and i'm like oh yes they, they binge watch friends and I, that's that's all like I've, I've figured out so far if i ever want to wanted to walk among them i guess i would quote chandler bing i mean like i don't know how far that would get you now Wait, i mean but, like, by all means Please go for it. And can I follow you around and like <laughs> film it? I want to make a documentary out of Taylor attempting to communicate it's with people. It's just called Quoting Chandler Bing. Quoting <laughs> Chandler Bing. I think it's just, I think it's just the cadence. Like, could this beer be any colder? Could that shoe be any cooler? I don't know. Oh my God. The sequel to Being John Malkovich, <laughs> Quoting Chandler Bing. Sorry, Taylor Smurl <laughs> quoting Chandler Bing. Like, oh like, hey, you cool kids. You've been watching the Friends? Like, that's how you get in. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I know what you mean, though. I Because in high school, I used to, I had some friends who I think were more traditionally cool. And I remember being at parties and watching them and, and seeing the way they would, like, interact and talk and thinking, like, 
okay, I, I can do that. I can, okay, I get it. I can. I bet it, you couldn't. It was like studying <laughs> like a part, like, you know, like you're totally, memorizing yeah. your lines and like practicing like your inflection and your stage direction. Like that was. Writing that was, you on your blocking. I was. I would practice like my, my party blocking. Like by the time I, I mean, I, I could hang pretty well because. You could hang pretty well? I could well. hang pretty well because I got away with it sometimes, but it was. It was very much uh it was very much fake because it mm-hmm. didn't come naturally to me. I just I say I don't know. I I want to talk about things nobody wants to talk about. I want to talk about like tardigrades. About what? <laughs> <laughs> tardigrades, the little creatures, you the water bears, they're called water bears. You've heard of them. I know you've heard of them, Tay. <laughs> <laughs> they're these amazing <laughs> microscopic creatures that could survive in any environment like in outer space and in a volcano and then they can be frozen they can they can withstand anything and they're adorable i love you and i'm so glad you're my sister i just want you to know that i love you (laughs) that's that's the conversation around at every party i go to now like hey have you heard of these conversations you can tell me about them unfortunately I, I have one. I have a stuffed one you on ha- my oh, desk. I, you at work. I had one. I'm fascinated by necrotizing fasciitis, and that kills every party vibe. And I don't know why. Yeah, that's not a good thing. That's not, that's to not bring this, up at a party. This, yeah. <laughs> Flesh eating bacteria that doesn't go over well. <laughs> hey, you know what? But that that weeds out the, the 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 NPCs. You know, like anybody that latches onto that, like, oh, you're my people. Sometimes you have to have those lures. You know, you throw out something super weird and nerdy. And everybody else falls to the wayside, and the one person that gets you gets you. <laughs> That's your person. <laughs> I also your person. just refer to other people as NPCs. There you go. <laughs> That's your lobster. Just quoted friends for you. <laughs> there you go, Sid. Now you're shut cool. up. You shut your mouth. <laughs> Uh, that's like, uh, to, to reference back to, to Sailor Moon. And one of the, I think one of the things Taylor and I shared a lot, you know, Riley, that uh, you've seen some Sailor Moon. Uh, I've watched mm-hmm. some of it when it was kind of re re-released. We watched yeah. some of it together. Crystal. Is that what it's called? Sailor yeah. Moon Crystal. Yeah. Uh-huh. Is that what it was called? Oh, uh, yes. I wanted to oh, like yeah. it. No, you can hear I mean, the, the judgment story already. is so much closer <laughs> to the manga, but the animation is all noodly and weird. And then there's CGI and okay, go ahead. Talk in the we watched a lot of sailor moon and and taylor introduced me to a lot more anime I mean, it was something mm-hmm. i definitely would not have found without you getting into it first and i was glad you did because there was a lot of really cool stuff that you that you showed me that i would i didn't know about on my own um but i always know that one thing you could throw out if you're ever talking about any of that stuff and you want to know if people know like if people are into it or not right. you start with this like yeah but everything in the us was dubbed and i only watch subs and then like instantly there's like somebody who's like i know right <laughs> <laughs> and that's your friend that's your buddy is like well, that's yes. your that's your lobster i have to i have to say uh and she's my best friend to this day nevi um my oldest dearest most amazing friend uh when I was in middle school and I just started getting into Sailor Moon, um, it was almost like, you know, like when you're like, I guess maybe this is how it works when you're like a cool kid and you're like, hey, I want to find like the cool drugs. And you're like, oh, that guy's who you want to talk to. And then you <laughs> get the cool drugs. But for me, I was like, man, this show, I love it. I'm obsessed with it. And some friend was like, oh, you should talk to that girl, Navi. She really is into that. But I mean, you know, just so you know, she's into that. And I'm like, okay, cool. So I like went up to her in gym class and I was like, hey, your name's Navi, right? I hear you know know about the sailor moon and her response the was sailor. just to break into the theme song in perfect japanese and i was just like oh ah, you are, are my you friend serious forever. no seriously it's like like just broke into the song and like with hand motions and like that that was the most maybe maybe the most beautiful thing i've ever experienced that's amazing <laughs> i want to see that happen we are we are we have been friends for like 20 years at this point and that that was the moment I was just like, yep, yep, you're my tribe. I just want to go up to people at school now that I don't know and be like, hey, are you into the Sailor Moon? And see if any <laughs> of them respond that way. That's a once in a lifetime experience. I'm sorry. Like that's, you know. Oh, man. Uh, well, Nevi is one of a kind. She is. She is. She is. Absolutely. Yes, absolutely. And I don't she... think you'd ever be so lucky to find another one like that. Well, <laughs> I haven't and, yet and... found my Nevi. 
<laughs> Nevi was like a gateway drug to her sisters who had like been like anime nerds longer and harder than I will ever be. Like back in the day when you like printed out scripts and watched Raws, like, and you just read along <laughs> with it, like that's what they did. And she just had the most like amazing, exhaustive collection of everything. And like that was, you know, that's she. She she gave me she like the most important nerding experience started with that that buddy that you just like I'm going I'm going in this way. This is where I'm going now. Goodbye, possibly cool friends. This is where I'm going. <laughs> <laughs> and that was really the the gateway for us because Taylor and I watched a lot of Sailor Moon and then that led the ones that I remember enjoying and I know that you were into lots of stuff, but the ones that I remember enjoying the two of us were um we watched Neon Genesis Evangelion. Yeah. We watched uh, Lane, we watched Fushigi Yugi, Fushigi. a ton of that. Yeah, oh yeah. These were great, Riley. These were great. Yeah, I animes. don't know what any of these are. Yeah, these these were wonderful. Uh, I I got uh, into it enough that I actually dressed as Sailor Moon for Halloween. I think it was like my senior year of high school. Yeah, because you borrowed my costume that I wore for the previous Halloween. I did, I did, and you were your whole little group of friends. Your your you know that you my all senshi? dressed. Excuse me, they were my senshi. Yes. <laughs> well, they you were. remember you remember the talent show uh, performance I did in second grade, right? No, where I had like four, four or five of my friends in second grade dressed as the Sailor Scouts, and I choreographed a dance to the Sailor Moon theme song. <laughs> <laughs> where is the footage of that? <laughs> oh, did I didn't know, know you that? did this. I, I have pictures. I mean, I, I'm sure, I'm sure I did, but I don't remember. Yeah. I've been prouder of you. <laughs> I remember like during recess the whole week leading up to the talent show, we would all stay in our classroom. My teacher would like let us like move the desks out of the way and I'd turn on the theme song and like my little like portable CD player <laughs> that mom would put on a CD for me. And Who, that, that were was you Sailor Moon? Oh no. My gosh. Who were you? I was Sailor Jupiter. Sailor Jupiter. I was. Huh. Interesting. And we all wore we didn't have good we didn't have as good costumes as you all did. We were like seven. So we all wore like colored t shirts and colored skirts and our hair was in like little buds oh, and ponytails. Come on, it's- commit. <laughs> I think it's the effort that counts. I you know, Corey got that whole thing. There were cartwheels and everything. I think now when you dressed up, you were Sailor Moon when you you and your friends oh, dressed I was up, right? Sailor Moon. Yes, I was. <laughs> okay. I was, I mean, I now see, I didn't have friends who did it with me. I just dressed as Sailor Moon and they actually, they took a picture of me on, uh, cause I, I went to school no, that I way. This. <laughs> cause, <laughs> right. Right. Or, cool. Yeah. Cause that was cool. <laughs> I went to school that way and they took a picture of me and I was on the front page of the school newspaper <laughs> dressed as Sailor Moon, except they captioned it. Here is Sydney Smurl dressed as Wonder Woman. <laughs> that is so wrong. <laughs> Wonder she, she does not I did not look like what I had the buns like I did not look like Wonder Woman uh, the colors the are very Odango, similar, if you will sure I was Odango actually that was the class I was in I was sitting next to Justin in that class and he was dressed as a cow <laughs> <laughs> well it must be love who knew one day that cow and that Sailor Moon would fall in love oh sorry that that Wonder Woman <laughs> Um, we we got so into that stuff, Taylor. I'm sure you remember. We used to drive around in my little purple neon. I remember that car. Yes, I love that car. It smelled like fast food. It did. It always <laughs> smelled like it. My our dad would say it smells like meat. <laughs> said, Why does your car always smell like meat? Which I think it was Taco Bell. Yeah. I think it was what he really meant. Is our car always smelled like Taco Bell? We would drive around. Uh, sometimes blaring Biff naked, which was much cooler than when we were blasting the songs from Sailor Moon and singing. Hey, that to is them. an arbitrary judgment. I I don't know which one was cooler there. <laughs> <laughs> Just cruising up and down Fifth and Third Just Avenue over and over and over again. <laughs> yep, <laughs> that's very similar to not too oh. long ago. We were in the car on our way somewhere when Taylor was home for cruise. Christmas, maybe, and I turned on the music from the Buffy the uh, Vampire Slayer musical episode. Yes, that is that is very true. That is our happy spot. Like I think that's I like mean, a like a family tradition at this point. Just as much as like being yeah. together for Christmas, singing the Buffy musical together. Like that's <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that is essential. Which, which was another aspect of our, of, I think, of our nerdier culture. Definitely is is our Buffy love. Now, Buffy, I think, permeated enough of like popular culture that it wasn't i mean it wasn't like a nerd you know secret secret club right a secret a (laughs) secret nerd niche i don't think so 
Maybe it was. Maybe that's just my perception. <laughs> I mean, no, no, no. I think it was definitely pop- popular culture, but uh, I, I, you know, I don't, I don't think everybody knows like word for word <laughs> episodes. I think that might <laughs> that might be the dark place. <laughs> Yeah, I have that whole album downloaded on my phone. (laughs) That's what I listen to in the shower. See, this is something that we have we have made sure that you are indoctrinated with. Uh I love for Buffy, or at least the musical episode. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Have have you watched it hard hardcore all the way through yet? Yeah, yet. You have. I have. Like the whole series. It's on Netflix, right? Yeah. All cool. Awesome. Beautiful. I've seen everything on Netflix. I love you more than I thought I did. There you go. Yay. (laughs) (laughs) We're at so many breakthroughs on this show today Haley's an adult <laughs> now I'm loved even more because I've watched all of Buffy it's the best day and then like season five of Angel because that's the one that sparks on Hail. <laughs> see I no. never went there I never no. watched Angel I couldn't stand Angel the character Dude, so no but Spuffy man you gotta watch it for that Spike content I do like Spike I do like Spike yeah Spike He's... was always my favorite he was always the one yeah that bad boy bleach blonde hair look, obviously, oh, that's what man. I go for. <laughs> and that coat. How can you say no the to the accent and the drinking? It was just everything. Yeah. Perfect. The sneer. He's he's saying I did it my way, but like the sex pistols version. Yeah. Spike man. <laughs> Um, of course, another, I think another part of our, our nerd culture, our personal, like not all nerd culture, our personal Mm -hmm. nerd culture, uh, was definitely for me, comic books, which you have, I mean, you have obviously turned into like a career path. So not just like a nerdy interest. Yeah. Um, for me, it was Archie comics. (laughs) I love Archie comics. (laughs) Dude, have you been reading the new Archie with Fiona Staples? It's amazing. I have. I've only I've read the first so good. Two. Like, but it's really good. Yeah, I enjoy it. I'm nervous. I just get nervous because it's a different treatment of like, I consider them my my characters, <laughs> my personal character, her family. But so far, I agree. I've been, I like um, it. I like but it. But I think that it's fantastic thus far. Yes. Yeah, it's yeah. really good so far. I really like uh, what they're doing with Jughead, who who was always like I connected with Betty since I was younger, mm-hmm. but I I've always loved Jughead probably the most as like just a complete character and what he you is. Know they're all making about. a TV Jughead's show. The best. They they are making a TV show, and I'm very anxious about what I've what I've heard about that. My favorite uh, a Disney star from childhood, Cole Sprouse, is playing Jughead. But but we agree that Zach and Cody. Betty should just drop archie and go with jughead right like that's a universal yeah. truth i have yeah. always believed that i, I have agree. always felt that way that's the, a power the only thing, couple but i think i think on the new tv show um jughead is actually asexual correct oh i'm not sure about that so i don't think that would be a possibility i think that's i think that's the way that i read it, that i read it and okay. i, I mean, think that's cool betty that's cool. is addicted to drugs what? Oh, I don't. Oh, no. Stop. Or abuses. I know. I, I think no. I think that's right. I think she ab- abuses. Why are they doing stimulants? This maybe. I don't remember. I, I It's something like there was something <laughs> about so it excited. that made me a little like, I'm oh, so don't do that. I'm so scared. <laughs> I know. <laughs> it's You're a Jesse Tanner reference. The reference. reference. If you like that. <laughs> Do, this like is that. this is from Saved by the Bell, Riley. Are you <laughs> familiar with Saved by the Bell at all? I remember the Time one day where I came home after school and Mom Saved was showing Bell. Charlie Saved by the Bell. But that's all I've seen of Saved by the Bell. Okay, so we're going to have to help you with Saved by the Bell. That's a whole <laughs> yeah. other... I, now, that's not nerdy. Zach Morris was as cool as cool got back in the day. I mean... Sure. Right? Yeah, agreed. Okay. <laughs> I don't think Taylor... Unless there's that fan theory that it was all in his head and like, you know, but we can not talk about that. No, I don't think we'll get into <laughs> secret <laughs> internet fan theories about Saved by theories. the Bell right now. <laughs> have you seen the one about Rugrats? The no, one about Rugrats? I, I have and that's, what? That's, what is... that's bull crap. I edited myself there. Wait, what? What is the one about Rugrats? That Angelica made it all up in her head that no, none of the babies existed, that they're all dead. That's like a silly creepypasta. No. What? Yeah. That they're it's, dead? Do you want me to go into well, detail? I, I looked into it. I will. It's, it's garbage. Don't worry about it. 
I looked into it. <laughs> I've seen it. I've seen it. I believe you. I believe you, but I've seen it. Okay. We're gonna you're gonna have to fill me in on all the ins and outs I of will. this later. I will. Okay. Um <laughs> You look shocked still. I am I'm very upset about this. I loved Rugrats. I know. I, I we've made Charlie watch it. Yeah. Yeah. She she it was, digs it. it. It's my babies. Jam. She likes babies. She we actually just it goes babies. <laughs> we <laughs> actually just started showing her Animaniacs. She's really into uh, that. Animaniacs is great. Dude, yeah. Tiny Toons. Dude, dude, Tiny Toons. Yeah, we haven't shown her that yet. We've shown what Tiny Toons. I know. We my need to. my Sissy. two biggest role models growing up were Babs Bunny and Gadget the Mouse from Rescue Rangers, and I think I've done well. That's everything <laughs> you need to know about Taylor. There it is. <laughs> there it is. Bye, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> I think you just defined yourself. Yeah, perfectly. that's how you teamed perfectly right there. <laughs> except, except for hey, like deep nerd moment. Um, I Sydney. So I was uh-huh. a little bit too into cartoons when I was a, a very young young child. Oh no! Um, I know the story. <laughs> uh oh, where so is there was a you there was the a story. time when I was just so into Looney Tunes, and um. This was when we had a pool in oh. Georgia. <laughs> uh-huh. Yes, please share this story. Yes, I remember and this. And Sydney was swimming and I was, uh, she came up out of the water and I was waiting for her with a croquet mallet and I bopped her over the head. <laughs> and... <laughs> yes, she did. Yes, she did. I don't, and of course, remember this. I remember. The response I was expecting was the stars. I wanted to see the stars. <laughs> That spun over top of her head. So really wanted, do, 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 do. Like I wanted that. And instead I just got like like our neighborhood friend Carrie Todd just screaming and mom like yelling at me and, and Sydney was she sunk to the bottom Sinking of the pool. Sinking to the bottom it of did, the pool. <laughs> it didn't go the way I planned. I don't think I was allowed to watch Looney Tunes for like eh, like a week. <laughs> and then you started watching it again and you found other ways to see the star. Just I think just right now, stars. think about it, sisters. Right now, I could be like Surgeon General or something, but I, you know, it was that one piece. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, come on. It was the damage that you did with that croquet mallet. It's holding me back to this day. <laughs> I do not believe that in a bit. I had to live up to your GPA. No, you did just fine. <laughs> that did not affect you at all. Sometimes I, I wish I was alive when you all were, were this age. And then sometimes I think of those stories or like the <laughs> game that mom played with you all about each other being dead. I'm just like, I'm good. Oh, no, <laughs> I'm good go with there. this. We can't go there. We can't go there. <laughs> oh, no. We've already we we've talked shared. about it. My sister died today. <laughs> Shut up. You're dead. <laughs> yeah. The game that mom used to make us play when we were, were fighting with each other. I feel like if I would have been alive when Taylor wanted to see the stars, she would have just been like, oh, a baby. Here, I'll hit the baby. <laughs> no, no, no. That was Sydney's part. She's the one that hid me in the laundry basket and cut my hair off. Like, come on. Sydney. I did. I did do. I was playing hide and seek with you. You weren't very good at it <laughs> because of being an infant and all. <laughs> Wait, which one of you put cheese in the other's mouth while yeah, they were sleeping? Yeah, you stuffed cheese in my mouth while I was sleeping. <laughs> you looked hungry. Because you thought I looked hungry. Yeah, uh-huh. Because <laughs> you had cheese that you took to bed every night, weirdo, <laughs> and you didn't know what to do with it because you didn't want to eat it, so you stuffed it in my <laughs> mouth. I pulled out tiny pieces in the shape of teeth and patterned them after all of your teeth, <laughs> and then I went to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> like you do. <laughs> Making cheese teeth helps me sleep. <laughs> uh, one thing, Taylor, you mentioned this before we started recording, and you have to share with me because I didn't do this. You mentioned role playing chat rooms as part of your nerdy youth. Yeah, I want to know about and those. I don't. I did not participate in this. Uh, role playing in general was something that out. I didn't. Uh, well, I, yeah, I didn't get so, into that, so so please help me here. I mean, I I played a couple like RPGs like by the book, but then like online, that's when I did most of it. Um, there was a series of chat rooms uh, when I was a teenager. Uh, they were called Write In, um, and there was like Write In Tavern, Write In Commons, Write In Battlegrounds, and there were just all these chat rooms on AOL that you could go in and you would you know be a character. You we'd actually there was actually a program you could really like, roll for your attacks, and um. It was it was super fun. 
Uh, I happen to find my home in Ryden Tavern. Uh, I think foreshadowing me <laughs> enough. I was the bartender in Ryden Tavern for a while. Oh, yeah, you okay. know, just decided I didn't know anything about alcohol at that point. I thought like Zimas were still cool, but you know, still <laughs> <laughs> jump behind that bar was like, hey everybody, I'm the bartender here. And that was, you know, that was the that was the second life that I lived. Yeah. I had a boyfriend, Spyro sixty six, if you're out there, what's up, babe? <laughs> 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 So this was sort of like, it was this kind of like an early Second Life, like that game. I haven't played Second Life, but I'm familiar mm-hmm. with the existence of that big, mm. that game that you can play where you, yeah, you know, you, that, yeah. yeah, you know, you, you had your friends, like you had battles, you went on campaigns. Yeah. It was, it was all the same deal. It was just, yeah, I was, I was Sailor M12. Uh-huh. That helps uh-huh. clear anything okay. up, you know, yeah, yeah. Um, That's very You know, cool. occasionally <laughs> you get like a creepy chat Im- invite to like. Cyber, you just ignore those. You put those away. You you, you stick with the role playing. No, I don't know what that means. And you shouldn't. Um, <laughs> I'm not, Mom. <laughs> Whenever I see advertising for Cyber Monday, I giggle. No, no, no. We laughed at Sydney for not knowing the uh, connotation of the eggplant emoji. <laughs> And now you're laughing at me. Why do I know, I know all means. of these things? Taylor, Taylor knows all. I didn't know all. there was any. Uh, let me. Okay, so let me clarify. We were talking before we started recording. We were talking about the emoji. We spent a solid twenty but, minutes sending each other emojis okay, hey, in the, in the group hey, well, text with the three Sydney's of us. Sydney's most used emoji is the eggplant. What does that mean to you? That's that's her most used. Why is Seriously? that your most used? I just think Seriously? it's funny to send somebody an eggplant. Did you send that to? I think she said that to me the other day when I was in the shower, so I wasn't responding. And Sydney was sending oh, me a bunch no. of random emojis, and I think one of them was oh, the eggplant emoji. No. I didn't know it meant any. I mean, I I'm okay. Um, I'm not like in the words of dense. Like I'm getting Rugrats, the idea of what what you ask, might mean that it you'll means. never know. <laughs> <laughs> that was those are great words of wisdom from Angelica. That's <laughs> true. I agree. No, I. Uh, yep, there it is. The eggplant emoji. Okay, sorry, I didn't know that was something. I thought it was just. It's funny because it's an eggplant and. That I think eggplants are funny vegetables. Like they're green, they're purple, and they're called. I mean, no, 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 yes, they're purple. Sorry, <laughs> they're purple. Do you I even know? Purple. Do you even know what it is? Oh no, I know what it is. They're purple. I know what they are. They're purple, and they have weird names. They're called eggplants, and they're like shaped weird. <laughs> Just like I think they're funny vegetables. Taylor, Taylor, Taylor knows hey, all. Taylor so, knows about anyway. cyber. Comic books, right? Yeah. yeah. Let's, let's, let's move on past what, that. Let's just like one other thing. Let's move on past that. Let's move. <laughs> <laughs> one other thing we really didn't get into, and and I won't be labored too long because I know we we've been talking for a while now. But uh, Taylor and I were also we played a lot of video games, um, yeah. which are I think I think video games are cool now. I mean, you're looking. I, I mean. You're looking at me like I know the answer, but I honestly don't really know what's cool, and I also don't really play that many video games. Do your friends? No. No? Well, like, okay, wait. Friends that are guys or friends that are girls? So wait, mm. is that is that a differentiation? Is it cool for guys to play video games but not girls? Because well, I'm well, going to have to get all that. up on that. I just mean like... I'm going to have to get up on that. <laughs> I just mean like... I mean like out of my friends. Okay. All my friends that are girls don't, but all my friends that are guys do. <sighs> Like when I had that party when yeah. it got busted by the cops after the cops left, the guys went in our theater room and watched or uh, played video games. Hey, hey, it I works. don't know. I th- I don't know that it was gender specific when we were younger as much. I mean, um, and, and I think you know Justin will give you a whole a whole speech on how the profile of what is a gamer has changed so dramatically. Like everybody plays video games now is he very passionate about he that? is very passionate about it little kids play video games adults play video games everybody in between it's not just you know people who identify as male females play right. video games just as much these days you know i mean it's it's a it's a changing world but uh when we were younger i still don't know that it was necessarily the coolest thing that taylor and i got the perfect guide to <laughs> to zelda ocarina of time 
and walked through the entire game, not just playing it and beating it, but getting every one of the um, were the skull spiders, uh, sculptulas, the... yeah, sculptulas, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, I don't know that that was the coolest thing, but we definitely did that, dude. When um, you I do beat think it was Mario RPG, you have never been my hero more. You got that? What was it? The lazy shell for Bowser that made him like never yes. die. That was amazing. I I loved that game. That game was Mario so RPG cool. Was, oh, that, that sounds was... really fun. Now I want to go play video games. Yeah. Video games are fun. They are. Now, now my genre was survival horror. Uh, that was what I did. Silent Hill, Resident Evil, Silent Hill, Fatal yeah. Frame. Uh, like... I remember mom buying me those video games for Christmas and just looking at the packages when I was little and getting scared. <laughs> <laughs> they were scary games, dude. They were, they were awesome. Silent Hill was scary. Oh man, like that was like an event. Like you would sit around and watch your buddies play Silent Hill, and it was better than like a horror movie. Eternal well, and, Darkness. Uh, yeah. Oh, that was so cool. And, and we did a lot of, um, especially with our family, with our cousins, we did a lot of the um, uh, Golden Eye. Oh man, wait, wait a lot of Golden Eye uh, tournaments. Uh, what was the the character it was illegal to play with because he was too short? Odd job. Odd job. Yes, nobody was yep. allowed to play Zodjob uh-huh. because that was just cheating. <laughs> <laughs> we used to play with all the all the codes where you could make everybody look like Donkey Kong or you could play paintballs. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but you know, there was always um, that one jerk that wanted to play Proximity Mines. That's just not even uh, a game at that point. <laughs> I never liked the uh, one shot, one kill, the golden gun. No, no. My What was I your favorite gun? Role. RCP90? Like, I want to get that like... Yeah. On, like tattooed on my body rcp90 R- rcp90 was always my favorite yeah um those were the days and we and those were the, also the days where we would play a lot of tournaments like street fighter and mortal Kombat. and i played and, mortal Kombat. Uh, before. yeah, yeah. And, and those like are all fun the those are great and for fatalities. parties yeah oh so good yeah yeah mm-hmm. yeah um I now would... riley i know that you don't now but you were you were into minecraft for a while several several years ago i don't it, my memory is that it wasn't that long ago, but I would say sixth grade. All right, all right, seven, sixth grade. Hey, Riley, why are you, why are you so afraid to be a nerd? <laughs> I'm not. Why are you afraid? I'm just I'm correcting facts. Uh huh. Uh-huh. Like when I was in fifth grade and I was in the Lego League <laughs> at school. <laughs> you were in the Lego League. That's uh-huh. true. There we go. I'm not afraid of it. I'll I'll admit to it. I went to the social studies fair. It was a math field day, like six years in a row. Mm-hmm. I was cool. There's nothing to be ashamed of, I no. think, is the important thing. You know yeah. what? If if being a nerd is the opposite of being cool, I think we should think about what those words mean. Because being a nerd is being passionate about something <laughs> that you don't care about being a, like like cool. You're like, I'm so into this thing, I'm going to nerd out over it. And that's awesome. Being passionate about things is awesome. It's opposite of being cool. Cool is cool. Like, great. You chill. Whatever. But being a nerd is being passionate and on fire about something that you don't even care what people think about you. That is cool. That's but not. Yeah. I'm nerdy about the eggplant emoji. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. I will accept Taylor, that about can you, you see and the say nothing she's doing right now. <laughs> I can. I can. I can. I'm passionate I'm about that and I don't care who knows it. Well, and now we're all dancing. <laughs> and even like, you know, like <laughs> with my like, I'm a bartender professionally. And I think people will arbitrarily think that, oh, that's a cool thing to be. No, the best bartenders I know, total nerds about what they do. So into it, so weird, so hung up on all the intricacies and like the history and the culture. I think I think, you know, we use this term kind of loosely, like eh, you're a nerd. Like, I think it 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 really means just being so into something that you just you don't care what people think about you for being so into this thing and i think that is super awesome yeah i think i think that's a really good definition of it because i agree i i I don't know if it was when i was younger it may have just i would love to say that i was brave enough to be who i was that i was that courageous and so i i was just unapologetically nerdy because I was brave, but I, that was probably not true. I was probably more clueless, more oblivious. <laughs> um, oh yeah. And that's why I was unapologetically myself, but I think it served me well. I think it served you well, Taylor, uh, Riley. I think it will continue to serve well, yeah. you well, as you get older to just love what you love and be who you are and, yeah. and not worry if, cause I mean, you know, the thing is if at that moment 
if the trends are not in your favor, <laughs> the, the winds of trends are not in your favor right the now, winds of trends. <laughs> uh, they will someday. And even if they don't, who cares? Because exactly. uh, you get to a point in your life where the people around you, they don't, uh, they just think it's cool that you like something. Yeah. You know, uh, although I will say this, I don't know if any of my uh, friends really want to hear about tardigrades anymore. <laughs> <laughs> They've heard so much about it. They just can't take hey, any more. I do. Oh, Tay, I'm going to call you later and tell you all about them. <laughs> yeah, good, good. I'm into that. But no, that's Water thing. Like bears. I, I, I referred to people as NPCs earlier, but like, that's kind of the thing. It's like, you know, like you find people that are in your party and then sometimes you find people that the only thing they have to offer you is like, there's a mysterious cloud over the village. And they, that's, that's all they have. You, you, you find your tribe, you, you know, and like the more you're <laughs> into the things, <laughs> the more you're into the things that like super excite you, the closer you get to like surrounding yourself with people that are into those same things. So it's good to commit. Like it's good to like, like let your nerd flag fly. Cause that's the only reason, like, you know, I ever found the amazing people I'm lucky enough to be surrounded by now. Yeah. I think that's true. There's a great, uh, Ben fold song. There's always someone cooler than you that I would recommend mm. you listen to Riley. Cause I bet you've heard it Taylor uh-huh. Riley, <laughs> because it's, it's so true. It doesn't matter like there's always somebody that's going to be cooler. So just let it go. Stop trying so hard and just be like Elsa. Let it go. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. go. Yes, exactly. Quote wicked. <laughs> uh, hey, no, no, that's frozen. Frozen. <laughs> <laughs> oh, now no. we're going to have to bleep you. <laughs> Taylor, you went so long. You went 46 minutes. You almost made it. <laughs> yeah. So, so back in the day when uh, I used to play Sailor Moon dolls with my friends, we made up a bunch of fake curse words because we wanted scenes, scenes to be really intense with our dolls, but we also were uh-huh. afraid of cursing. So we had all uh-huh. these like fake words, <laughs> you know, like fracking in Battlestar Galactica. Like, yeah, sure, sure. That's, <laughs> that's a, that's a thing that's out there now. I'm going to need a uh, later after we're done here, I'm going to need you to call Nevi and get a list <laughs> um, of those. Cause I know, you know, she still remembers them. You right. know, she does. Yeah. Um, yeah. I'm, I'm going to need you to get a list of the fake curse words you made up so we can put them in the group. Please. <laughs> <laughs> she, she actually has all of our old, like, we also used to like chat role play, like with characters we made up ourselves. Like we'd have these whole epic, like role playing campaigns online. Now, that was hanging out on a Saturday night. Like we're not going to hang out face to face. We're going to go home to our individual houses and get on our computers and role play these characters we created for funsies. Um, she has like it all saved and it's, it's awesome but it's also like oh god that's there <laughs> got the ultimate blackmail that's really true man you guys are gonna have to be friends for life <laughs> no because she's got so much dirt on me uh, As- we, uh, f- fan fiction if i can like we we never wrote fan fiction but i would no. mst3k bad fan fiction for like my two friends so we'd find like really bad Sailor Moon <laughs> fan fiction and then I would like like write an MST3K over it and make fun of it and then send it to my two friends. And she has those. That's amazing. <laughs> that's <laughs> deep. Tay. I know. MST3K that's a, that's fan fix from deep Sailor Moon. stuff there. That is dark. <laughs> deep web. Guys, today's, <laughs> today's April night, 2016. Web. Did you know that the numbers in today's date are all perfect squares? 4916. Okay, two so squared, three squared, four squared. Riley, apparently that's your tardigrade. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> we all have our tardigrade, everybody, and you embrace it. <laughs> Very that's right. April 9th. Yeah, embrace, embrace your, your inner tardigrade. tardigrade. <laughs> Take away. Hug it close. Let let your tardigrade flag fly. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Oh. Uh, it's okay to love math, Riley. You should love it more. Well, that's like, now I do, especially on this day. You'll need some of it someday. Uh, you, some Riley of it. Could do, math. You might go You'll to need some of it you someday. Need it all, the time. <laughs> all the math. But you might need all the math. All the math. Yeah. So I think that we have, as we're coming to the end of this show, I think we have learned some really important lessons here today. Right. <laughs> like, like an after school special. I've learned a lot about, about my sisters. 
Um, but I think, I think Taylor, what you said was really good advice, which is that if you're nerdy about something, what we really mean when we say that word is just that you're super passionate about something, which is a great quality Yeah, that we, that we uh, admire and attracts us to other people. And I, I think the more that you can kind of get comfortable with that when you're younger, cause it's harder when you're younger to be as comfortable with that idea as, oh, a, as totally, adults, it's totally. easy to look back and be like, who cares? Like I just knew, I knew what I liked and I knew who I was before my friends did. Um, it's harder when it's your age, when you're your age to, to get, cause you, you don't have that view yet. You're right. not out of it. You're still in it. I'm in it right now. You're in it. In it. But somewhere in the back of your mind, keep those, those wise words of our sister Taylor's in your head. But find your tardigrade. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, and then, and then my speech about tardigrade. <laughs> find your tribe. Ignore the NPCs and you find those playable characters. You find those people that are in your marauding party and you maraud. <laughs> you maraud. Maraud on. <laughs> Oh my. Well, uh <laughs> sisters, this has been a ton of fun. <laughs> yeah, this is my favorite favorite episode yet. Me too. Oh, no. And I I hope everyone listening uh along has enjoyed this. Thank you for listening our, to uh our show. Yeah. Thank you for supporting our show. Um please if you if you feel so inclined tweet about our show at still buff is our Twitter handle. Mm -hmm. We couldn't get still. Buffering. We couldn't get the whole thing. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> we have a Facebook group still buffering that you are welcome to come join. You have to ask us, but we'll as let you in. As long as you're not a robot. Yeah. They're, we're not like one of those mean, like people who guard the doors at fancy clubs that right. not everybody can get in or something right. like you have to, you know, we just don't let in the skirt. robots. Yeah. We just don't want robots in, right. but no, we'll let you in. You can come join our club. Yeah. Um, it's we're we're all inclusive and, uh, you can email us if you have thoughts about episodes you'd like to hear at still buffering at maximum org. Thank you to maximum fun for, for hosting us. Yes. For yeah. hosting our show. We love to be a part of your network. Um, there are tons of other great shows. Come check them out. Yeah. Do it right now. Thank you to the novellas for our theme song, Baby, You Change Your Mind. Uh, thank you to everybody who thought that Riley and I sang that. Yeah, that's super weird, but thank you. <laughs> that's a huge compliment. Yeah. I wish I wish we had those voices. I don't think we no. do. I no. wish. Maybe Riley does. Maybe yeah. Taylor does, actually. Taylor, she probably Taylor. does. I don't. Yeah. <laughs> um, but uh, but that was very flattering. Yeah. Uh, but they're great. Check out the novellas, because yeah. they do have those they voices. They do have those voices. <laughs> and that is their song. Right. Um, and thank you to our sister, Taylor. Yeah. For I'm joining us. Happy to be here. Uh, yeah, yeah. She's the cool and, uh, one. And Taylor, let me give you this opportunity. Taylor also did our logo. Yeah. It, so if you like Drew, our logo, if you like that art, that's that is credited to our our very talented sister Taylor. Do you want to plug any? If people want to see the other artwork you do, like, is there a place they could go check it out? Because you're you're really good at it. So where could they see it? Yeah. Um. I I, I have a Tumblr. It's taylorsmurl.tumblr.com. Like part of it is just reblogging Buffy gifts, but then there's some art occasionally, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have any art? Don't don't you have art on like deviant art? <laughs> oh, deviant art. <laughs> that's I think that's kind of old school. Uh, yeah, there is there. I I'm somewhere on deviant art. I think I'm Miss American Psycho on deviant art because that was cool when I was 18. Well, I just think if you've got stuff out there that people would like to see it because yeah. you're we're we're proud of you. We're your sisters and we know yeah. that you're really talented and we want people to see the great stuff you do. That's very that's very sweet of you. Um I have things, they're out there. I I, I imagine they're searchable on the internets with the, the tools that you have on the internets. Hey, and if you want somebody who can do some great art for some sort of freelance project, perhaps. You know who to go to. Taylor Schmurl. Hmm. She's a professional. She has a degree in this. We're not just making this up. No, she's the real deal. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> hey, it's called sequential art. That's much fancier. No, yeah. it's not. I like cartooning. That's what I do. Okay. All right. Doctor of cartooning. Fair enough. Fair enough. <laughs> all right. Well, I think that'll do it for us. Yeah. Thank you again, everybody. Thank you, Taylor. Mm-hmm. Uh, this has been Still Buffering, a sister's guide to teens through the ages. I am Riley Smurl. I'm Sydney McRoy. I am a teenager. And I was too. And I was three. <laughs> <laughs>
I'm Allegra Ringo, a dog owner. And I'm Renee Colbert, a dog wanter. And we host a show called Can I Pet Your Dog? The podcast for unapologetic dog lovers. You can find us every Tuesday on MaximumFun.org or on iTunes. So, now what is this? Is this just a podcast where all we do is talk about dogs? Yeah, sort of. Uh, we definitely have a segment called Dogs We Met This Week, where we tell you about, you know, dogs we met this week. We also have a segment called Dog Heroes, as well as Cool Dog Tech and Stupid Dog Tech. We also have some of your favorite celebrities. Lin-Manuel Miranda, who did Hamilton, has been a guest. We've got Leslie Margarita. Uh, we've had Nicole Byer, Ann Wheaton, all the best uh, dog-related celebrities. So check us out every Tuesday on MaximumFun.org or on iTunes. Can I pet your dog? Can I pet your dog? Renee and Allegra. C-I-P-Y-D. MaximumFun.org. Comedy and culture. Artist owned. Listener supported.